What's up, everyone? My name's Phil. I got a little garage motion light going on, but I'm a attempting to change the alternator on this 2002 um, Dodge 1500 um, conversion van. It's a Chariot Edition. So here's the alternator. I'm gonna put that right here for now. So I'm almost done disconnecting the battery. And then after I'm done with that, we'll dive into the alternator and um, go from there. All right, so we have the battery removed, um, disconnected each terminal, positive and negative, and uh, on to taking out the actual alternator. So we get, I'm gonna take off this fan like this. Second. First bolt right here. Loosen it up a little bit. All right, so I'm gonna put this down here. And I let go of that. This is gonna be fun. Screw. Now we're gonna go release the tensioner. We need so I'm taking the uh, the belt off. So the belt, this is when I gotta get these vice grips. So my problem now is that there is a bolt, a nut on the other side of this bolt that's spinning when I turn it. And I can't seem to get the vice grips on them to hold it. Suppose I could, if I went lower, let's try that. All right, so I think, fuck. Got it. All right. Now to remove the alternator. One last bolt, which should be being held by a vice grip on the other side. Come on, baby. Be nice to me. So this is what I was trying to vice grip to grip on as I reverse threaded it on the opposite side. 
right, there's the screw. And so this goes into that on the opposite side. So now the alternator should be free. And holding it in the back. <clears throat> so this is it finished. Um, got the new alternator there. You can obviously see it's brand new. Um, belts all on. Only thing I did was start it and I turned it off because it smelt a little weird. But I read a couple things online that um, alternators may need to run for a little bit before they, they go. So that's the back angle of this. Um, that thing plugged everything back in, um, got it mounted on the bottom with that mount. Um, all bol bolts are tight, and um, yeah, this thing's this thing's good as go. It's ready to go. There's the new alternator spinning and running. Um, it just had me alarmed that it smells a little funny, but um, it's probably just the rubber or um, the coil spinning for the first time. Read a couple blogs, like I said online, it said it's a kind of normal thing for the first scent to kind of smell funny. Um, kept an eye on it from there and uh, other than that it all works really well so pulleys are working fans working alternators turning and um, we're good to go thanks for watching guys um, again this was a 2002 Dodge <clears throat> so again the alternator I replaced it because there was a crack in the housing um, everything was fine it ran fine but right here was a matter of time before this crack and this crack right here affected a coil inside. So at any given time, this coil still spins, it still spins nice. Usually they lock up, they lock all their belts up and everything like that too. But now I caught it before it. <clears throat> um, definitely you do not want to see this right here or any of that on your car so <coughs> the new one 